Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of minds to think. As quoted by Albert Einstein, the value of school education is to train the mind to think something apart from the textbooks and to create a capacity of integrated understanding and an ability to use the knowledge intelligently. With positive thoughts, our New Horizon Public School is driven by the motto Education to Excel, which enables our students to achieve greater heights and through various avenues. I, Mrs. Prata Matthew, extend my warm welcome to Executive Director, come Principal Dr. Nicholas Correa, Vice Principal Mrs. Monolisa Basu, parents, students and teachers for today's virtual parents orientation program for grade 11. Prayer is our communication with God. It is the key that opens to us the treasures of God's mercies and blessings and also is the key that shuts us up under his protection and safeguard. So let us pray together kindly Join your hands and close your eyes. Public School, Airoli, Navi Mumbai, is a premier educational institution in the Mumbai metropolitan region. It was established on 21st June 2004. Since then, the school has excelled both in academics and co curricular activities and added colorful feathers to its glory and success. The ideology of the school is founded on the motto education to excel. With the vision excellence in education, the school provides outstanding infrastructure and facilities for the children, paving way for imparting quality education for the development of cognitive, affective and psychomotor domains. New Horizon Public School provides a good infrastructure with big airy and well-ventilated classrooms and makes learning enjoyable and delightful. 
Every classroom is a smart classroom as we have Tata Class Edge installed for effective learning process. Information and communication technology in education improves engagement and knowledge retention. New Horizon Public School has three well equipped ICT labs to keep the students in pace with information and communication technology in the teaching learning process. If you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. As quoted by Albert Einstein, reading is a crucial element of every child's education. A child who reads will be an adult who thinks. And for that, we have a vast and well-equipped library with 35,000 books to generate a love for reading. Physical education develops students' competence and confidence to take part in range of physical activities that become a central part of their lives, both in and out of school. New Horizon Public School has a huge playground for activities pertaining to sports and physical education. Play area to polish skills of life budding sports person of tomorrow. We also have well equipped with biology lab, physics lab, chemistry lab, composite science lab and mathematics lab where students learn and explore scientific concepts and verify mathematical facts and theorems respectively through interesting activities a large assembly area to conduct assembly grade wise throughout the week is set up in our campus. Our students have been making the school proud in academics, sports and other co-curricular activities since inception by excelling at the local, divisional, state level, national level and even international level under the able stewardship of our team of teachers. Success belongs to those who believe at the most and the longest. New Horizon Public School has received three excellence awards in the academic year 2020-21. Education Today ranked our school number 11th in India, second in Maharashtra and first in Mumbai in the category India's top 20 CBSE school. We are proud to state that our students reflect our motto, education to excel in all spheres of life. Our school is ranked one among the best schools of India and has been awarded School Excellence Award 2019-20 by Brain Feed magazine. Our school is listed among the top 10 schools in Navi Mumbai as per a survey conducted by Hindustan Times. Our school was awarded for excellence in special need education by Eldrop India. We are also proud recipient of Parents Choice Award by Education Today and the Best School Award by Shikar Art. Our school has also received India's top prestigious jury awards 2020 in the Experiential Learning Award. The key to improving our education system begins with leadership. A great principal will create a great school. Our executive director come principal Dr. Nicholas Correa has played a crucial role since the inception of the school. He brings with him a rich experience of 27 years. He is being a great mentor and always been very supportive for students and teachers in motivating us in teaching learning process. Sir always encourages students and teachers to inculcate the reading and that makes the individual perfect. Now, I would like to call upon our executive director, come principal, Dr. Nicholas Correa, to address the parents. Good morning, everyone. 
I welcome each and every parent of grade 11 for this parents orientation program. Many of your children might have already studied in New Horizon Public School for almost 13 years and few, maybe 10 years and few, maybe less than that. And you're already aware of the good practices of the school which have been taking place here. And others, those who have joined this year for the first time. So there are various good practices happening in our school. Not that we are going to highlight each and every good practice here. But what I want to say is today, when you are joined this parents teacher orientation program, it becomes it's a day one of your journey in this institution. And this is also one of the good practices, this parent teachers orientation program that is orienting the parents, orienting the children in the beginning of the year. So when children or when parents know before anything begins, what is going to be in stock for them? So before the year starts or before the uh, session starts, generally it is our practice to orient parents and the children for the entire session. So today we would be guiding you more about what is going to be there in grade 11th and grade 12th and why this this stage is very important for our children. Up to grade 10th, this is a one stage of studies for our children. Now we have gone to a next stage. So this focuses more on the career of our children. Up to grade 10th, it was more of general studies, generic in nature. Now it goes more of specialized and specific. So children choose streams, whether for science or for commerce or humanities. Based on the stream the children have selected for grade 11th or for senior secondary, they are going to pursue their career and their higher studies in graduation, post graduation, and thereafter they pursue their career in their life. Hence, it is very important what children do in grade 11. It is a very important stage for our children. As I said, till grade 10, it is generic and general studies. All children had to choose all the subjects compulsorily and it was a common studies for everyone. Though there were uh, children were uh, given the content or the studies were taken as per their need, but the general subjects which are given, they are all common. Now at this stage, the streams are not common. Now children or the parents have got a choice to choose the stream. So once the stream is chosen, maybe for science or for commerce or for uh, humanities, then further group of subjects, so here in our school, we are already given in the circular the various groups of subjects, which would be also highlighted in the orientation further when uh, someone speaks about the curriculum. So what I want to say is that now we are going to be more of specific. We are going more of focus on our child's education and child's career. So child's, child has to focus more on the career. So far, it was more into learning of studies, now more into goal-oriented education for our children. So at this stage, there are two things very, very important. Two places are very important. One is the home of the child. Second, the school. So when child is at home or on school, there are various people involved in this. So child, at one place, then parents in another place, then teachers. This child, teacher and the parent triangle plays very, very important role in the growth or improvement of the child. So as we go ahead with the selection of these subjects, so definitely you've done your homework. You've already known what the child is going to be in the future though not very, very specific, at least in general sense, you are aware or child is, what is the child going to pursue? Maybe 
uh, is going to pursue the subjects in technical line or medicine or some other stream. Maybe there is a section of children who are not completely decided what they need to do. Maybe they have taken this, maybe after a year or two, they are going to decide. Still there is time. So now what is important is visualizing, dreaming about their career. It's very, very important. It should have been already done for last so many years, but still not late. Children have to think what they need to be, what exactly they need to pursue. So when children think what they need to pursue, so definitely parents play a very important role and house or a home becomes a good platform for learning. As it is already said, home is the first school and parents are the first teachers. Maybe we might say hey, it is so when children were small kids. So when they were small kids, yes, we, we put, uh, yes, it was very well said. Parents are the first teachers. Now children are grown and now it is very difficult to be their teacher. No, it's not so. So every stage, definitely parent becomes a teacher. So we need to be when parents along with the teachers in school join hands together, it becomes a joint venture and the child's venture or child's aspirations can be developed in the right direction. So it is very important to give a right type of direction in the journey of the child to how the child travels and how do we as teachers and parents inspire and facilitate the child to do or to choose the right subjects and also choose the right goals. Parental encouragement plays a crucial role in successful students. Though the role is limited, but involvement in activities is very, very important. Though the children know far more better at this stage, maybe sometimes from the parents, as compared to the parents, children might know better at this time, but still parental role is very, very crucial. Maybe there are certain things which we need to keep in mind when we when handhold the child or when we encourage our children. First of all, a parent is a role model, just like a teacher, parent also is a role model and parents are generally role model for their children. So when we are role model, yeah, definitely we cannot be just disciplinarian. Yeah, discipline is very, very important. Following discipline and being a disciplinarian, they are two different things. So I need to become a role model for my child so the child is able to follow what I am doing. That means I also need to do certain things Whatever I instruct the child, when I say you need to work hard, so definitely parents work hard. But when I say you need to read, so I also need to read. So when I say do certain things, so I also need to have certain knowledge along with the child, I also need to do that. So parents must act as guide to help the children through their difficulties. So when they have difficulties, speaking to them, being with them, definitely that will give them a good hand. Providing next, providing them a pleasant environment at home. So I don't mean that uh, there is no pleasant environment at home. So it means the uh, environment of encouragement. For example, a child has given any test, maybe unit test or midterm examination or any of the preparatory tests for the uh, maybe JWE or NEET or any other uh, entrance examination. When the child does well, definitely, what is the level of compliments I give to the child? Do I compliment the child? So when the child doesn't do so well, what do I do? What is my response? Do I correct the child? Do I, do I encourage the child or do I pass a ne negative remark? Why have you not done? So we can say that very well. The correction or corrective measures are very, very important. Remedies are very important. Remedial measures are very important. Without that, the improvement doesn't take place. The child has to uh, improve in his scale. So for this, 
we need to give a positive encouragement we need to encourage the child yes no problem maybe whatever your lapses what are the mistakes you have committed it is but natural everyone commits mistakes but what is important now how to overcome this mistakes so the encouragement should come in a positive way not in a negative way so when i say that do it you can do this all others are doing what is a problem so it goes in a negative way maybe such reprimands should be avoided now at this time children are fully grown and they need to also parents also need to look at them as their friend or the guide so it should not be just imposing certain things we as parents maybe uh, we have learned certain values or certain skill of uh, 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 maybe a certain a set of skills in a particular typical way but it need not be we need to give in the same way to our children we need to see in which world they are in so giving children criticism is very very important but what type of criticism it should be a constructive criticism as i said so anything we say it need to be suggestive and complimentary not that negative and giving leading them to punishment maintaining a good parent and teacher rapport what is my rapport with the school and with the teacher so when my rapport with the teacher is good now what happens is an interaction happening parents sharing whatever is happening at home or the child's difficulties with the teacher when the child is unable to uh, reach out maybe parents are helping the child and the teacher shares what are the strength of the child and maybe the areas for improvement so now what happened now all of us become joint all of us become a part takers in the child's studies or child's venture so we can help the child we can handhold uh, when we handhold child feels there is something good and the parents are there always with me setting aside some time maybe for teachers maybe for parents yes so we might be working might be busy but still there should be some time given to our children even at this time it is very important to be sit with them understand what are the aspiration discuss so when we discuss we come to know uh, what is the child uh, looking for so lot of things child would share sharing your personal experience so when we share the personal experience with the children maybe the experience of your days or of our days what happened in the school what we used to do maybe the type of guidance our teachers used to give those days maybe type of guidance today the teachers are giving so there is a change there is a big paradigm shift maybe the guidance given by the teach our teachers those days and is the guidance given today maybe it is a change in time maybe those days uh, technology was not so much developed today communication and technology is developed so much so the maybe though the value would remain the same maybe the methodology would change so we need to change the methodology and understand the child so sharing the experience with the children is very important when we share children also feel confident so they have that sense of confidence in the children developing sense of confidence in the children is very important it doesn't take place maybe only by doing certain activities it happens through various experiences it happens through taking part in various events maybe even at home the way parent uh, parent and the children discuss does the child find that space for discussion or is the parent uh, sometimes uh, behaves as a boss or that he is not as a friend parents need to behave as parents so this treatment given to the children at home is very very important so that is where child feels how he or she is being getting developed in a class so as i said confidence just look at the small video so when you look at this video come to know how a confidence is developed in this video you have seen the uh, the goose can face this mighty cow so goose is not afraid 
very strong confident but in the meantime the animal which is far far heavier stronger and also confident also takes a back step in front of a small bird so that is what happens that is what confidence is so this comes with practice so when we develop practice it is not to attack someone or it is not to put down someone it is to develop ourselves developing confidence is very very important so when we hand hold when you say that yes children can do now children also develop that spirit that encouragement in their studies so at this time in grade 11 and 12 children would be engaged in so much of scholastic activities so they would be stressed maybe sometimes so when they are stressed when parents sit with them share their experiences what happens they feel relaxed delighted so instead of reprimanding or scolding them so being with them is very very important we should not reprimand rather help them to relax at this time and that confidence in the children confidence in various things Conf confidence in their personal life confidence in their studies confidence that they can face an examination confidence maybe they can do a presentation confidence they can do their studies far better than the previous uh, uh, performance so this type of confidence confidence can happen only when we as teachers and parents hand hold the children is very very important encouraging the children at every stage at every step so we need to create the sense of confidence in our children so then children would face any any challenge so that challenge should not become a crisis for them so when we help the children face the situation they become very very strong so what happens in the childhood father is always maybe good with the daughter and becomes very very yeah and daughter become and daughter also feels yes father always likes me same way son becomes very very favorite to the mother same way overall children are very close to the parents when they are small but as they grow what happens there is a gap so when they are small we go we used to go to the school quite often then in the middle school it reduced secondary it reduced to a great extent but in senior secondary uh we do not even come to know what is happening because there is no sharing now why does this happen yes we know children are growing yes we know children are independent children are independent that does not mean we should not spend time with them so we should spend time that is what is the quality time we spend with our children when we spend time children also start sharing the things what is happening in their group maybe in their friends group maybe in the school maybe anywhere so sharing is very very important so we as parents should make our children share that experiences when will they when will they share when we experience and when we experience when we as parents experienced and share our experiences with them so they also feel okay this type of lapses are committed or done even by the parents there are many mistakes committed by even by the parents so there is nothing wrong in committing mistakes everyone has to commit mistake only when one knows what is the problem and commits a mistake then it is a blunder when one does not know and commits a mistake it's natural it's okay so failure or the mistake should be a stepping stone for a success so children would learn through experience everyone would learn through experience even as parents we commit so many errors not that we do 100% correct it is not possible as human beings we are bound to commit mistakes so also the students so also the children they would be committing many mistakes but hand holding them giving them the right direction helping them to understand they can do far better so as they are studying as they are fully getting engrossed in their studies now what happens so they forget to do many things maybe sometimes to eat their food on time maybe sometimes they forget 
they may not take the breakfast or sometimes they sleep late maybe they take their food uh, at any moment so when the cycle of food is forgotten sometimes they even forget whether they are taken or breakfast or lunch or dinner and they just eat anything what is available so we as parents need to be very very uh, uh, close to them and understand we should be like doctors so not that we need to become a trained mbbs doctor or a trained doctor in the stream ayurvedic doctor or a homeopathic doctor or mbbs allopathic doctor so i mean here parent is a doctor that means is a guide so how to take right food right diet at the right time so parents also need to give the right diet to our children nutritious food helping them to take enough water helping them to take enough liquid in the meantime helping the children also do sufficient exercise is very very important so being a trainer so parents also become trainer just like a doctor so guiding them guiding our children to exercise i might say yes you need to exercise daily and i do as a parent don't exercise at all so i am busy so as a child i have done so much exercise right now i don't have time no we cannot say that we as parents also need to exercise if there is time exercise with your child maybe we can do yoga we can do certain sk skipping exercise or you can do aerobics or any other type of exercise so children would definitely would do your exercise with you maybe they feel not comfortable you can encourage them you can do separately and children also do separately but encourage uh, this type of exercises yoga can be a family exercise breathing exercises and certain yoga asanas and small meditation so we as parents need to encourage these activities for our children it's very very important if they just go with the scholastic activities and studies definitely so it is just like the uh, car you are just filling the tank and just using it and using it and using it not refueling it not filling the tank again now what will happen the moment the fuel is uh, consumed completely the car would stop it will not go further because it needs that energy how will that car get that energy refueling it or the filling the tank again so that is where the role of the parent comes role of the teachers come so we as parents need to make our children to refuel that refuel their body refuel their mind it is very very important how do they refuel so that is what i am saying the yoga asanas or yoga or the meditation is very very important even if the child meditates every day around 10 to 15 minutes initially may be a little difficult so encourage your children to meditate at least 15 20 minutes so more the better you don't get the time at least 15 minutes every day how to meditate may be a big task for everyone so meditation need not be only a prayer or a spiritual activity it can be a physical exercise so you are just concentrating on your breath how to breathe in how to breathe out you are breathing in just concentrating on your breath do some exercise then sit concentrate on your breath and do it for continuously 5 to 10 minutes you are finding that difficult initially keep a lamp or the light or a diya look at that and breathe in breathe out continuously look at that light look at that diya it's a concentration you are helping the child to make the mind stronger It is very important to make the mind of the child stronger. So fueling is so when you fuel, this is the fueling exercise. So we need to keep the mind stronger, not just exercising, just ex what you call uh, uh, solving the question papers, just attending classes, doing more and more exercise uh, towards scholastic activities. That's not sufficient. so we need to also energize the mind how would you do that giving regular exercise to your brain how to relax relaxing also very important your brain also has to relax having sufficient sleep and sufficient med meditation 
So laughter, you need to see, even at home, we laugh a lot because the child's burden of studies at that time may be very, very high. So does the child laugh? Does the child speak? So we need to get into a lot of exercises, into music, helping the child sing, helping the child play instruments if the child knows. Otherwise, child can hum, even bathroom singing will do, but make the child do that. This is a relaxation. So when the child does that, it all helps us. Why I'm stressing so much? Because this two years, generally you might see, because this two years become very, very crucial, especially in our country. So you might compare, see how in other countries, the things are all lighter, it is like that, it's true, we know. But we know what is the uh, uh, situation, prevailing situation in our country. Because other countries, the population might be less, competition might be less, maybe the struggle also comparatively less. So in our country, we have got a huge student's population. The competition is very high, so we need to struggle. So when children struggle, now what happens during this course of study? So, so many things are coming to your mind. One is your board examination. Children should do well in the board examination. Maybe you are preparing for, if you are going for technical line, maybe preparing for CET, JWE. And if you are going for medicine, maybe preparing for again CET or uh, NEET, maybe going for designing, maybe NID. And other competitive examinations like KVPY and many other competitive examinations, many other entrance examinations you might be giving. So during this time, when children prepare for the board examination in one place and the entrance examination on another side, so their time becomes very constrained and they feel tensed. So what has parents and teachers to do? Or, yeah, what is the role of the parents and the teachers at this time? encouraging the child. So maybe sometimes what we see, we just aspire that our children need to, those who are in technical line, they feel that our children need to get into IITs or NITs or the other prominent state institutions like COAP, VJTI or any other prominent institute of excellence. These are all some of the government institutions. There are also private institutions which are of excellence. So when we cannot, sometimes it is not necessary, every child who is studying for uh, JWE need to get into NIT and IIT. So when we don't qualify, there are other institutes equally important. So we need not get discouraged. The parents need to say that, okay, trying is always good. Everyone has to focus, everyone has to try. But when we don't qualify there, there are other institutes. What should be our goal? Not the institution. Goal should be, what is the career I'm going to pursue? What is the subject what I'm going to take? That is very important. Pursuing of subject and the career is very important for our children, not the institution. Maybe there are a section of children, their focus is institution. Maybe someone wants to become, yeah, maybe in, someone's interest is in computer science. But in IIT, uh, the child does not get computer science. So he gets maybe uh, some other stream of, not of his interest, but still feels that institution is important. The child goes there. It is maybe that is some children pursue, some children way of looking at things like that. So what I mean, my opinion, what I feel is subject is more important than the institution. So institution, yeah, definitely is very, very important. When we don't get a particular institution, it's okay, no issue. There are many other institutions giving the similar studies. So we can look for institution anywhere. So when we don't qualify, because there are limited seats, but across the country, there are so many medical colleges, so many engineering colleges, so many other uh, institutions of excellence for various streams. So in one way, one or the other institution our students are going to get uh, their seats. Now, they will not get this without working hard. Now, what is important? Working hard. One has to work hard. One has to pursue. So making our children do well. 
not that they need to compete with the rest of the world rest of the student uh, rest of the students across the country but they need to compete with themselves this is my previous performance this is where i stand this is where i stood last time i need to stand still better my scale of performance should improve i need to encourage the child so when i encourage the child so what i need to give our children we need to give an example of an eagle what is that eagle doing eagle is very much focused always focused always hard working always has got a vision very very clear it's not that uh, eagle gets a prey attacks it thereafter relaxes so i'm just would like to show you this particular video see uh what is the message in store for us for our children and for as parents we just want you to see this video don't be a parrot in life a parrot talks way too much but can't fly high but an eagle is silent and has the will power to touch the sky here's the seven mentalities that we can learn from an eagle number 1 eagles fly alone at high altitude eagles don't fly with sparrows ravens and other small birds meaning stay away from narrow minded people those that bring you down eagles fly with eagles there's a saying that goes like this people you hang around will eventually determine the person you become keep good company number 2 eagles have vision they have the ability to focus on something as far as 5 kilometers away no matter what the obstacles the eagle will not move his focus from the prey until he grabs it meaning have a vision and remain focused in your life no matter what the obstacles and challenges you may face don't give up and you will succeed Number 3. Eagles are fearless. An eagle will never surrender to the size or strength of its prey. It will always give a fight to win its prey or regain its territory, meaning no matter what the size or big your problems are, don't give up. Instead, face it. Successful people are fearless. They face problems head on. Number 4. Eagles are tenacious. Eagles love storm. When clouds gather, the eagles get excited. The eagles use the storm wind to lift themselves higher. Once it finds the wind of the storm, the eagles use the raging storm to lift itself above the clouds. This gives the eagle the opportunity to glide. and rest its wings in the meantime all the other birds hide in the branches and leaves of the tree meaning achievers are not afraid of challenges rather they relish in them and use them for profitability number 5 eagles never eat dead things eagles never eat dead meat in other words An eagle does not scavenge. It only eats the meat from the prey it kills itself. Meaning, do not rely on your past success. Keep looking for new frontiers to conquer. Leave your past where it belongs, in the past. Number 6. Eagles prepare for training. They remove the feather and the soft grass in the nest so that the young ones get uncomfortable in preparation for flying. And eventually, they fly when it becomes too unbearable to stay in the nest. Meaning, leave your comfort zone. There is no growth there. Last but not least. Number 7. Eagles possess vitality. When the eagle grows old, his feathers become weak and cannot take him as fast and as high as it should. 
This makes him weak and could make him die. So he retires to a place far away in the mountains. And while there, he plucks out the weak feathers in his body and breaks his beak and his claws against the rocks until he is completely bare. A very bloody and painful process. Then he stays in his hiding place until he has grown new feathers, new beaks and claws, and then comes out flying higher than ever before. Meaning we occasionally need to shed off old habits, no matter how difficult. Things that burden us or add no value to our lives should be let go of. Thanks for watching this video. So dear parents, we need to make our children like eagle. We need to give this example. So when our children are like eagle, definitely they can succeed in their life. So I wish each and every student in this school, those are taken admission in grade 11, a very successful journey of two years. I also wish you a very, very fruitful time in their studies. Now, during this uh, prevailing situation, all the studies are being conducted online or online schooling. So till we open again or till the school reopens as long as, long as the studies go online. So I request everyone, all the parents to cooperate with the school and help the child grow in his or in her journey and make the child discover what he wants to be in life. So our company, our hand holding and our vision for the child definitely would help the child to create his own or her own vision for the rest of the life. And whatever is going to happen in 11th and 12th is very, very important for every child. So hence, it is very important to guide the child in the right direction, both at school and at home. So we know that there are various opportunities given to our children. So academic studies, definitely they are there. There are various counseling sessions of which would be also happening, maybe career counseling sessions. So there will be also uh, people and the speakers coming from uh, different places, maybe sometimes the old students, helping the child uh, give their experience. They would be sharing their experiences. Sometimes there would be certain agencies would be coming and speak to the children about various career options. This is how their eyes are open for the rest of the world for various careers, various career options. So, so what are the two years time? Let it go not only with academics, let it also go with various other co-curricular activities. Co-curricular activities are very, very important. There are various competitions and events taken in the school. Children need to take part. Even there are other various events which are taken by CBSC and uh, other organizations. Children need to take part. They are all very important for your higher studies. When you seek admissions in some of the institutions of excellence, even when you go for uh, post graduation, sometimes they ask whatever the activities you have taken part in your uh, school level and senior secondary level. So you need to present. They are very important. Secondly, this uh, courses, maybe short term courses or the exams or the tests or those co-curricular activities would help you to pursue your goal or your career. So please don't ignore any of the co-curricular activities. Go ahead equally with the good passion as you're having passion with the studies, have passion for your co-curricular activities too so that you get relaxed and your mind gets balanced. So please balance your mind, body and the spirit. It should not be only giving exercise to our brain and the mind. So body also need to be equally uh, getting that exercise also need to be equally strong. When all these three things, body, mind and the spirit come together, child becomes strong and successful in life. So thank you so much. God bless you all and wish you a successful journey at New Horizon Public School. God bless you. Thank you, sir, for your valuable and motivational words. Over to you, Parvati, ma'am. 
Thank you, Prathama. The whole purpose of education is to turn mirrors into windows. With this beautiful quote, I, Parvati Rakesh, welcome you all to curriculum and assessment guidelines. Our school vision is to develop our children into excellent citizens and optimistic contributors to the society. School mission, nurturing our children with stimulating learning environment and best practices, promoting tolerance, holistic development and pursuing excellence. Career guidance sessions and webinars will be conducted for the students, which may make the perfect roadmap for the students and based on which they can achieve their goals. Various competitions are held in our school as well as by CBSE as part of curriculum, which offer a chance for the students to gain substantial experience, showcase skills, analyze and evaluate outcomes and uncover personal aptitude. In order to participate in these activities, students can refer the school circulars and CBSC circulars as well. They may also refer the student edition newspapers sent on a daily basis in the app. Parents may ensure that your wards must participate in all these activities. Dear parents, let me introduce the subjects in our science stream to you. We have English code with the subject code 301, physics with the code 042, chemistry with the code 043, mathematics code 041, biology code 044, computer science code 083, physical education code 048, and economics code 030. Subject combinations available in our stream are option 1, P, C, M, B, option 2, P, C, M, C, S, option 3, P, C, M, P, E, option 4, P, C, M, E, C, O, option 5, P, C, B, P, E, option 6, P, C, B, E, C, O, option 7, P, C, B, C, S. Dear parents, Followings are the marks distribution per subject. 80 marks in theory, 20 marks for internal, total 100 marks. Physics, 70 marks in theory, 30 marks practical, 100 total marks. Chemistry, 70 marks in theory, 30 marks in practical, total 100 marks. Mathematics, 80 marks in theory, 20 marks in internals, total 100 marks. Biology, 70 marks in theory, 30 marks in practical, total 100 marks. Computer science, 70 marks in theory, 30 marks in practical, total 100 marks. Physical education, 70 marks in theory, 30 marks in practical, total 100 marks. Economics, 80 marks in theory, 20 marks in internals, total 100 marks. Following are the assessment schedule for the academic year 2021-22. Unit test one will be conducted in the month of July. Half yearly examination in the month of September. Term one examination including the practicals in the month of September. Unit test two in the month of November. Half yearly examination in the month of January. It is a time to introduce the subject teachers to you. For English, we have Ms. Ani Kurian. Physics, we have Ms. Priya VM. Chemistry, we have Mr. Rajesh Verma and Dr. Pranali Purkar. Mathematics, we have Mr. Ashok Avle and Ms. Suchita Podar. Biology, we have Ms. Archana Raut and Ms. Alice Grayson. Computer Science, we have Ms. Merlin Cherian. Physical Education, we have Sanya Sheikh and Mr. Ajinkya. Economics, we have Ms. Pradha Matthews. Following are the timetables for both the divisions, which will be shared with the students in one and each app. Daily schedule for online sessions for senior secondary students. Every day, online session will begin at 8 a.m. 
which will end at 11:45 a.m. every day four periods for the students except on monday which will have a fifth period each period will have 45 minutes duration with a 15 minutes break in between this is all for curriculum and assessment guidelines over to you pradham ma'am thank you parvati ma'am moving forward to the communication part the different tools of communication used to the school to communicate with the parents are as follows school issues circulars guidelines sms date sheet etc to parents from time to time parents must regularly log on to the school website www.nhpsairoli.com for regular updates on school achievements important circulars etc all school circulars are sent to parents through the mobile app one new horizon app or be called as one nh app parents must download this app all the circulars will be issued only through the app hence it is mandatory to install this app as you all are aware that our online schooling is done through microsoft teams Microsoft Teams is a platform that allows for collaborative working either as students or as professionals using communication capabilities through audio, video and instant messaging. The software is available both online through a web browser and to download from microsoft.com. So I will be briefing you about this online learning platform. Parents, the login ID and password is shared in your respective email. Once you log in by using your login ID and password, you can see the screen. You will be able to see the class team tile of the class team that you are already added in by your great teacher. Once you click on the team tile, an overview of the team will be displayed to you. as you can see on the screen every class team have a main discussion area the general channel under general channel you will find more channels of different subjects now let us see how to join the online session you need to select calendar tile to see any online session that your teacher has added you in click on join when it's time to meet adjust your audio and video settings and then click on join now for each period you will get separate notification in the calendar so once the session gets over you need to leave the session and join the next session as per the allotted timings dear parents i would like to bring to your notice that our teachers will always be available whenever possible to guide you over to you parvati ma'am thank you prada ma'am once again sorry for that that is all from our side i'm sure we were able to update you about the admission and other procedures through this orientation prior to winding it up i must thank the school management for choking out the program like this i feel fortunate fortunate to be assisted by our principal mr nicholas korea and vice principal ms monalisa basu thank you sir and ma'am for your support and guidance my sincere gratitude to the ict team for helping us in carrying out such important event i extend my most sincere thanks to parents for attending this program and also being with us journey to impart excellence in education thank you and have a great day